Hey guys and welcome to yet another video on Tech Daily. And in this video, I will be going through a list of top 10 Android launchers of 2018 available on the Play Store. And sorry for not uploading any video in the past 4 months. I will try to be more regular with my videos now. With that being said, let's get started and mention the launchers. Action Launcher has long been a favorite Android launcher. It comes with a stock Android feel. However, there are some extra features that add some uniqueness. Quick Theme lets you customize the color of your UI based on your wallpaper. Shutters lets you check out an app's widget without actually setting one on the home screen. It even has theming and customization elements to make your phone feel more like Android Pie. There is also an icon pack support frequent updates and a lot more. There's a lot to like about this one. Even the app drawer is configurable. ADW launcher used to be on the list of top Android launchers until the developers stopped supporting. However, with the launch of ADW launcher 2, it was an obvious choice to add it back to the list. This one includes an updated UI that fits in line better with stock Android. Additionally, there are launcher shortcuts, many customization options, extensions and a ton of modern features. It also has one of the best make your own widget features that I have seen. It has retaken its rightful place among the Android launcher elite. Apex launcher has been around for a very long time and remains one of the most iconic Android launcher apps ever. Like Action Launcher, it aims to give a stock Android look and feel with a few extra features thrown in for good measures. Among those includes the ability to alter things like transition animations, scrolling habits and there is even a scrolling dock where you can lay plenty of icons. Apex Launcher also includes a theme engine. The app underwent some big changes in 2018. It looks much more modern now. AIO Launcher does it differently than many Android launcher apps. It does away with the standard home screen in favor of an information packed list of stuff. It shows things like your latest SMS and missed calls, your media player, your system information like RAM, battery storage, etc. And even stuff like news, Bitcoin price, Twitter and more. Not everything has to look like stock Android and AIO Launcher certainly shows that it can be done effectively. Launcher Launcher is one of the newer Android launcher app. It's an open source project that mimics much of the look and feel from the Pixel Launcher. It features many similar features to the Pixel Launcher along with a few others. Those features include icon pack support, Android Pie slash Oreo shortcuts and notification dots. Google Now integration, adaptive icons and various other customizations. It's still new and also in beta. However, it already works better than most launchers. Hyperion Launcher is a new kid on the Android launcher block. It slots in nicely between heavier launchers like Action and Nova and the stock Android experience of Launcher. The UI is stock looking without a ton of bloat or flare. There are plenty of customization features though. They include third party icon support, an icon shape changer theming elements and some other neat stuff. It supports Google Feed but it requires a separate download just like most other launchers. It's new but it already slots in favorably among the best launchers on Android. Microsoft Launcher isn't a new launcher. The app used to be Arrow Launcher. Microsoft rebranded the app in mid-2017. The app features integration with many Microsoft services including their calendar, email, to-do list app and direct integration with Microsoft PCs. It also has customization features and gestures control. This one returned to beta after the rebrand, thus there are likely some bugs for now. However, it's something different and especially useful for those who want better integration with their Windows PC. It does not get too much better than Nova Launcher. 
Like Apex Launcher, Nova has been around since the good old days. It remains not only relevant but one of the best Android launcher app options available. It has a laundry list of customization features that include gesture support, the ability to customize the look and feel of the application, icon pack support, themes and much much more. The app also gets updated regularly which means bugs generally get squished quickly and new features are added consistently. It also comes with the ability to back up and restore your home screen layout for when you eventually switch to a new phone. It's the one I recommend you to try first. Smart Launcher 5 is a vast difference from Smart Launcher 3. Thankfully, it's in a positive direction. It features a modern UI, ambient theming features, modern features like adaptive icons and more. It even has a weather and clock widget and gesture controls. It's not quite as powerful as Nova Launcher or similar launchers, however, it has enough feature to be quite enjoyable. It feels like it competes directly with Action Launcher and similar apps when it comes to customization and usability. TSF Launcher is one of the unique launcher apps. It features a variety of customizations including full gesture support. It can do a lot of things that look really cool. However, it doesn't bring all that much to the table that other launchers do. Still, it's a lot of fun to use. Some of the extra features includes 3D animation and unlimited dog bar, batch selection of things like icons on the home screen, widgets and more. It's completely free to download and use. It also has an extra plugin that adds app batches. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment. If you are new, then make sure to hit the red subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to become a member of the notification squad. With that being said, this is me Rahul from Tech Daily, bidding you guys a bye bye. Do subscribe.